Wouldn't it be cool if you could put your music on the back of a postcard and then mail it out to all your friends all over the world for very little money? Well, now you can. Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New, and today we're going to be talking about these vinyl postcard records, which were very popular during the 1960s, especially in Eastern European countries like Poland, Czechoslovakia, and Hungary. And we're also going to talk about how a few new companies are reviving this once dead format and producing vinyl postcards in 2017. Now, before we dive in, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. The more thumbs in the air, the more videos are going to come your way. Also, so if you haven't seen this video about flexi-disc records, then you should definitely check that out because flexi-discs and postcard records are very similar as far as their design goes. So that video kind of gives you a good introduction to this video. Okay, so back in September of last year, I received a big box full of these postcard records from Poland from a vinylized viewer named Mr. Farmos. And these cool records inspired me to do a little more research. Well, it turns out that back in the early 1960s when the vinyl record format itself was still very new, a lot of different record pressing plants around the world were experimenting with all sorts of creative ideas. During that time, in addition to the normal vinyl records that we all know about today, they were also making flexi-disc records, books with record grooves on their covers, and most importantly, these postcard records that people could mail to all their friends and relatives. Now, in the 1960s, these postcard records were especially popular in the communist Eastern European countries like Poland, because at that time, access to Western forms of music and entertainment was strictly forbidden. So being that many people living in the Eastern Bloc couldn't buy music the traditional way, like going to a local record shop and picking up a normal vinyl record, they were forced to get a little creative, and that's why the flexi disc and postcard records became so popular. And in addition to Western music, they also pressed traditional folk songs as well. And that's what all of these are. Now you can still find some of these in Poland today if you know where to look. Flea markets and garage sales are usually a good place to start. So anyways, back in the day, after you received one of these in the mail, you most likely went home and played it on your Bambino portable record player, which were very popular in Poland during that time. Check it out. So that was a normal 7-inch vinyl record, and it sounded pretty good, but the postcard records and flexi-discs will sound much worse, mostly because they're a lot thinner than a normal record, so you get a lot more of the scratches, clicks, and pops. Now, unfortunately, after the 1960s, these postcard records just simply vanished. Many of the pressing plants stopped making them, so naturally people kind of forgot about them. They were this, you know, cute little novelty that was around back in the day, but now they're all gone. But the story does not end there. What you're really gonna like is that a few modern companies are starting to offer the flexi discs and more importantly, the postcard records once again. So if you're an indie band and you wanna send your music out to your friends or relatives in another state or in another country, these postcard records could be a cool way for your band to stand out from the crowd. So here are the three companies I found that are still pressing postcard records. And I'll have their links down below in the description if you guys wanna check them out for yourself. First off, we got vinylpostcards.com, which is a service based in Austria. And their whole website is designed kind of like a postcard, which I thought was pretty cool. And it also has tabs for their prices and even their contact info if you want to find out more. Next up, we got bvinyl.com, which is really cool because they have a little choose your record option where you can choose between seven inch square vinyl records, seven inch round vinyl records, 12 inch round vinyl records, seven inch vinyl postcards, 
custom shapes and colors, and even special promo packs. So all of that stuff is really awesome. Another cool thing is that with this company, you can order smaller quantities of records if you wanna do that. So if you only want one custom record, they could do that for you, which is something that you're not gonna get with other more large scale pressing plants. Now, the only downside is that they have a disclaimer on their site that says they are no longer taking new orders at the moment. Probably because a lot of people found out just how cool their site was and then flooded them with orders. But the cool news is that their new site will be reopening on March 15th, so they're probably just scaling up during this time, so I'm sure they'll be back on their feet taking new orders in no time. All right, now the last site is piratespress.com, which is probably the most well-known flexi disc and vinyl postcard pressing service in 2017. These guys are based out of Emeryville, California, and they are truly awesome. And after visiting their website, it's clear that they really do care about the smaller, more independent musicians because in their about section, it says, quote, Pirates Press protects independent labels, bands, artists, and businesses from being swindled and handicapped by big corporate manufacturers who really don't care about them. We are musicians, artists, promoters, screen printers, music technicians, tattoo artists, and other independent entrepreneurs out to help each other succeed in a way you can truly feel good about. So I think all that is really cool. So on their site, in addition to the flexi discs and postcard records, they could also make your band vinyl records, CDs, DVDs, cassettes, posters, flyers, t-shirts, and pretty much anything else you could want. So basically, if you really wanna promote the hell out of your band, Pirates Press seems like a pretty good place to start. Also, the sound quality of these newer modern postcard records seems to have gotten a lot better. So I think even though postcard records themselves are kind of like an older format, newer technology is helping them to sound a little bit better. Now, what do you guys think about all these postcard records? Do you have any of these in your collection? Let us all know down in the comments below, and if you love music, join the Vinyl Army and hit subscribe, because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of great videos every week that you're not gonna wanna miss. Be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All my social media links are down in the video description below. And most importantly, guys, have a fantastic day, and keep spinning that vinyl. Now, who should I mail this to?